let's follow that on follow on that with the Chamath yep. uh, article. Dude, how do you pronounce Chamath's last name? I never get this right, man. So I'm not even gonna try. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chamath, with all due respect, I'm not gonna try to, to get your name right today. You're just known as Chamath. You've got enough success where you've become a first name. Yeah. So probably happy to have. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't it. Yeah, we'll just go with Jamal. <laughs> a friend of mine told me this yesterday, which I loved. He told this story about refrigeration, and the story he tells is that the people and the person that invented refrigeration made some money. But most of the money was made by Coca-Cola, who used refrigeration to build an empire. And I view these large language models as refrigeration. That's good. Will there be some money made in it? I think so. But the Coca-Cola has yet to be built. And those are the companies that are really going to monetize it. And in order to monetize it well, here's a basic thing about machine learning that's worth knowing, which is if you take 1,000 of the same inputs and give it to Facebook and Microsoft and Google and Amazon, they'll all come up with the same machine learning model. Interesting. But if you have one extra thing, one little ingredient that all of those other companies don't have, your output can be markedly different. Mm -hmm. It's like giving two great chefs three ingredients, but you give the third chef one extra one. That person has the ability to do something very special. So right now, we are in the world where everybody is crawling the open web. We're going to move to a world where, as everybody gets sophisticated enough, where when refrigeration is widely available, somebody's going to say, you know what? This site, I'm not going to allow anybody else to access. It's only me, only for my models. And those models will become better. And so we have to let that play out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be a little bit of a really interesting arms race. So the, the next wave of M&A, for example, could be companies like Google and Microsoft and Facebook looking at these companies saying, can they be viable inputs to my large language models or to my other machine learning and AI models? So you could see M&A activity that drives that differentiation before anything else. So lots of really, so then as a result, for guys like us, early stage investors, we may want to invest in companies that have zero viable public market potential whatsoever, but is building a data repository that's so unique that we know that it will feed one of these bigger companies and their efforts in AI. And that could very well justify making an investment that we would otherwise not make today. I love that. It's wise, right? <clears throat> it, it's very similar to the internet and then building a company on top of the internet, yeah. right? So that's a great analogy, man. So good. So what's the, I guess the re response to that is what's your Coca-Cola? Instead of being fearful of AI, how are you leveraging it? What tools are you building? How are you integrating it into your business and how are you bringing that to the market? Right. That's actually what's valuable. Yeah. And I think the other thing too is like, if I'm thinking about Coca-Cola, they probably weren't making it based on the existence of refrigeration. They were just like, we want to make this thing. And it just so happens that the, Technology exists to enhance the consumer's experience. Correct. The product. So, so it's like you're doing things already, right? That AI can come and enhance or revolutionize. Absolutely. So, love it. Shout out to Chamath Papalapala. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to sue us. Oh. All right, so we got, okay, close, next article here. We got Elon Musk, guys. 